Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Have new contagion waves stalled the recovery analysis HTTP ntv4x.com news ID F4F5CF831 2020 20, 10, 37, 46 AM The number of new COVID-19 cases has increased significantly in Europe in August and while the number has declined in the US, it remains at an elevated level compared with the early part of the summer. It is unclear how much of this is due to more testing but we are not seeing a re-emergence of hospitalizations and mortality in rich countries. Nevertheless, there are indications that the economic recovery has stalled in much of Europe in August and that it has been affected in the US and is only slowly returning there. However, we note that the high frequency indicators are hard to interpret, not least in the period affected by summer holidays. In the US, Monthly data showed a significantly better performance for the economy in July than what had emerged from daily data. In any event, we are at worst seeing a slowing or stalling recovery, not a renewed decline in activity and nothing like what happened in the spring. The political appetite for renewed broad lockdowns seems very limited and we still expect the underlying recovery to continue, with occasional setbacks and with GDP and employment still significantly below pre-crisis levels in the major economies at the end of 2021. Financial markets are in general not sending warning signs, with US equity prices on course for their best August since 1986. Surprisingly good earnings and earnings expectations, as well as continued low interest rates and bond yields, are supporting equities. Market-based inflation expectations have increased markedly since April, especially in the U.S., but with little effect on bond yields, which means the expected real yield in the U.S. is now around 1% on a 10-year horizon. It seems that the market is expecting the economy and inflation to recover but that purchases by central banks are preventing nominal bond yields from reflecting this. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell announced an adjusted target for U.S. monetary policy. Instead of aiming simply to get inflation back to 2% from wherever it is, the central bank will now aim for 2% average inflation over an as yet unspecified period. The implication is that if inflation is too low, the Fed now promises to keep monetary policy expansionary enough to raise inflation above 2% for a period, in the hope that this promise in itself will have an expansionary effect. In addition, the Fed has specified that its target on employment is not symmetric a it will not automatically tighten policy simply because unemployment becomes lower than an estimate of its sustainable level. The European Central Bank ECB is also currently reviewing its targets but we do not have indications as to what the result will be. Markets are currently not expecting the ECB to achieve its target of inflation close to 2%. Coming price index readings are likely to show outright deflation in the euro area but that is driven by temporary factors such as the temporary VAT cut in Germany. NBSP Download the full The Big Picture. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at https://mt5.expert.advisors.